Okay. Hi, I'm David McDonald. I'm a hematologist uh, in Ottawa, Ontario, and I'm here in Toronto at the CHC 2018. I'm talking today uh, to the group about uh, anti-CD20 therapy in 2018. It's a very interesting time uh, in the treatment of lymphoma and in CLL. I think we're going to find ourselves very soon uh, in a situation where we may have access to new anti-CD20 antibodies. Rituximab really has revolutionized the care of lymphoid malignancies, uh, leading to improvements in progression-free and overall survival really in all of the uh, lymphoid uh, subgroups. Um, but now we have uh, potentially molecules that are better or faster or more cost-effective than rituximab. And we may find ourselves in a situation where uh, we have access to any of those three uh, types of groups and uh, we might be in a position to choose. So we have obinutuzumab, which has recently been um, demonstrated to be superior to rituximab in combination with bendamustine in relapsed indolent non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, and also uh, in combination with bendamustine, uh, it's superior to rituximab and bendamustine in uh, frontline indolent non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, and so we're anxiously awaiting approval and, and funding of obinutuzumab. Uh, it's going to be interesting to determine where we're going to be able to use that molecule uh, either in frontline or in relapsed disease. I think also we, we already now have uh, access to subcutaneous rituximab. So along the theme of faster or more convenient uh, antibody, I think patients are benefiting from a, a seven minute subcutaneous injection of the antibody that's not any less effective than giving it intravenously over 90 minutes. So that's making a big difference, I think, in the uh, flow through in our, in our medical daycare units. And finally, I think we're going to soon be dealing with the issue of biosimilar rituximab, uh, which is probably going to be a more cost-effective way to give the monoclonal antibody. And I think it'll be very interesting to see how the uh, payers decide um, if we're going to continue to have access to the more expensive or to the more convenient antibodies once the less expensive antibodies are on the market. So it's an exciting time. I think that the treatment of, of indolent lymphoma and aggressive lymphomas in CLL is likely to undergo some changes in the next uh, couple of years as these new antibody choices uh, become available. Um, and hopefully we'll uh, have some guidance as to uh, when and how to choose which antibody to use.